the power of change. Change is, a, I, I've been conscious about change quite recently in my life. When I had to manage impacting projects at work, when I became a mom, or through meditation. I would like to do a little exercise with you guys to become aware of time. Let's all close our eyes and enjoy the present moment by taking three deep breaths. Many invisible changes happen in only 20 seconds. Every second, 2,000 cells naturally die in our body, replaced by new ones. Our cells are constantly evolving, changing. Every second, every one of us is changing in this room. Every second, we are all getting older. Scientific facts, sorry guys. The only constant in life is change. And as humans, we have the capacity to become aware of change. And you have, we have the power to make it a strength. How do we make it a strength? As humans, if we consider the scale of history, we have entered a period where our actions and responsibilities have made us become the, the, the guardians of future generations' well-beings. At the scale of nature, changes are nearly invisible to our eyes. Look at a mountain. Have you ever noticed a change when you look at the Mont Blanc? Yet mountains are continuously evolving. And becoming aware that our environment is changing has a direct impact on our decision-making. Do we have the capacity to adapt? Well, think about it. 20 years ago, we didn't have any smartphones. Can you imagine a single day without calling your friends, checking your emails, Facebook, Instagram? Technological and social evolution are impacting our, our lives exponentially, and humans have proven their capacity to adapt. Becoming aware of these evolutions, we must equip ourselves to adapt serenely by focusing on our attitudes even more than our abilities. Have you ever experienced change at work? People don't really want to change, whether because they're afraid or because they don't want to get out of their comfort zone. We have to help them change. Because when, when you've been working the same way for years, you don't want to change. It's quite common in the administration, but everywhere else too. I embraced a career in the public sector because I wanted to have a positive, positive impact on people's daily lives. At the highest level of a state, we're confronted to major challenges our society is facing. And improving the way we're serving you and anticipating changes, it's a daily challenge. To foster change, you have to bring adaptability and agility to make change meaningful. Let me give you an example. 20, year, 20 years ago, we were the first state to have a website. Two years ago, we decided that we had to redesign it. In 20 years, we had accumulated 30,000 pages, 600 websites, relying on four different technologies. Our goal, to create a unique platform where citizens could find the information they really needed. Two years later, we reached our goal. And it's not small feat, because you cannot just impose change to be accepted. It has to be understood in a shared vision. The key change was to shift from a vision centered on the administration 
to a vision centered on the citizens, the users. Some colleagues feared that we wanted to, to um, get rid of their jobs. We had to pitch them the idea that we would, in fact, give more meanings to their work by focusing on the users. And that's what citizens are expecting from their administration, no? So to help us in that transformation process, we created a living lab. The Geneva Lab approach aims at creating a new dynamic with citizens and within the administration. And it's working. More and more people are questioning their own processes. Reflection and co-creation are propagating, and we are starting to transform our administration from within in a shared vision. Being conscious of change has become even bigger when I became a mom. Because when you become a mom or a dad, you must admit that you've changed generation. And you also understand that you have the responsibility on another human. And that you will have to empower your children to embrace permanent change. Since the very beginning, I taught my children what I would like them to discover about our world about their place, the, the role they would have to play in their environment, about the challenges they would meet and the changes they would have to face and the adventures that lie ahead. Becoming a mom, you must understood that a child needs to understand the meaning to accept change. And you also need to understand what a child can feel when confronted to a change situation. You have to use another skill and put yourself into the little shoes of a child. When I took my daughter for the very first time to school, she was terrified, in tears. It's understandable when discovering such a new environment, an impressive environment with so many people, so much unknown. Coming from a cozy and reassuring environment, Children, children must empower themselves and find new references. After the first apprehensions, she finally discovered her new environment. Friends, activities, music. As a human, she adapted, and I was so proud of her. Little by little, we realized that we have an impact on the process of change, and fears disappear. Lately, I traveled to the desert. With my son, we climbed up the dunes, and just like we did a few minutes ago, we closed our eyes and breathed. At this moment, I realized that my teaching allowed my son to enjoy the power of now and to consider the world in, the, in its biggest picture. My kids will keep that capacity throughout their life. And sharing with my children made me realize how we are all so well equipped to embrace permanent change. Tonight, we became aware of time, of the process of change. As humans, we can take decisions. We can have an impact on our environment. Is it a good impact? Well, you, if you position yourself on the right scale, the one of an anxious colleague, the one of a child of nature, you can have a positive impact. Oops. And if we become aware that we have an impact on the process of change. We can be the change that we, we wish to see happening in the world. Right now, at this particular moment, I feel proudly human. Because even if we are nearly nothing in the world, we're parents, workers, citizens, we're humans in this big universe. Thank you.